Let's make some chili. It's Sunday night. I am making this because I want to have it for tomorrow. I am going to whip this up, stick it in their fridge, and then dinner is ready for tomorrow. It's Sunday night, we've already eaten, and I'm doing this because tomorrow I want to make my dad's cinnamon rolls. And I just don't want to have to worry about making dinner and baking the cinnamon rolls. Also, this is my dad's recipe. So let's go. The celery. Did I say it was celery? I don't even know. Some jalapeno, this much of it. Okay, we've got the celery, bell pepper, jalapeno, onions, next up garlic. that melted. I'm, Jesus. I, I am making like so many mistakes today. Just fumbling around. And I'm going to add my salt, pepper. At this point I'm also, I'm not going to quite stir it in, but I'm going to just put it on top. Cumin. And chili powder. I might add more chili powder. It's been a couple minutes, so I'm gonna go in and flip it. And now I'm gonna add in the onions, all the veg is going in now. you what I do. So two cans doesn't look like a lot and sometimes I have to add in more. But what I typically do, sometimes I break them all up with my hand. Other times I do this method. I'm going to put them there in the middle and then I take the meat, the thing I use for the meat, and I go in and I don't know why I don't just use crushed tomatoes. Well, I do know why. I do like a little bit of tomato, stewed tomato bit in my chili. So see how much liquid that creates? And then once you 
smash up the tomatoes a little bit, it creates even more. I never think two cans of that is going to be enough, and it always is. See how that comes together? I'm happy with it. I'm just going to give this, that's hot. I'm just going to give this a little bit more of a stir. I would normally cook this down, not cook it down, but just cook it off a little bit more before I add the kidney beans in. <laughs> more so because that's what my dad used to do more than anything else. So they're really, it really doesn't matter. I am going to add, just based on the color of this, a tad more chili powder. I do add sugar to this as well. Add a tablespoon per batch. I don't really like this to boil, so I'm going to stir it like I just did, and I can see it starting to bubble up here. So I'm going to stir that off again. I do need to taste test this though, but I don't want to taste it until it has a chance to cook a little bit and melt together. I make this all the time, but this is one of those where I feel like you do need to test taste it. Let's give this a taste test. See what we need to add. It's really hot, as you can probably see. Okay, I, I added a little bit of salt. I can tell it's still pretty hot. Mmm. That was it. Mmm. It's perfect. Really good. I'm going to put the lid on it and stick it in the fridge. And I'm going to let it cool down a little bit more before I do that, but obviously. Put the lid on it, stick it in the fridge, and we've got dinner for tomorrow. And... That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Bye.